And now, boys and girls, it's time for Easter eggs. Yes, this is my favorite part. There are actually a whole bunch of Easter eggs in this game, too. Um, the original egg hunt probably took place, I don't know, a few months, a year after the game came out. There was a fictional character over at Cyan that went by the alias Spider. That's spelled S-P-Y-D-E-R. Now, I'm sure everyone at Cyan was in on this, and personally, I would even wager that different people pretended to be him at different times. But here's the story. Spider was supposedly an outsider that would snoop around Cyan headquarters and gather up all kinds of inside information, such as future projects and Easter eggs. Then he'd find clever ways to leak this information to the public. And I'll get back to that in a second because there's actually an Easter egg in this room. Well, first we're gonna need to step outside for a second. This egg will only work after that door's been unfrozen. That way you won't accidentally find the egg while trying to solve the puzzle. But if you turn off the switch here, you turn off the furnace. So then if you flip the switch again, then the gas line is running into the room, but the furnace is turned off. It's important to keep the furnace off because now we're inside an enclosed room with an open gas line running in here. It'll take about a minute for the egg to kick in. Anyway, back to Spider. Like I was saying, Back in 2001 or so, Spider would occasionally make brief appearances in missed forums or chat rooms or some such, and he would drop these clues, these really esoteric riddles on how to access the eggs in real mist. He also did this for the Easter eggs in Riven as well. Now I've seen these clues, some of them are flat out bizarre, and all of them are just about impossible to solve. But I've never had to solve them because, fortunately, those brilliant few that did shared their discoveries. So all I had to do was do a little research and relay the results over to you. And we're still waiting for something to happen here. Just trust me on this. <laughs> Now, if you thought that was just some goofy sound effect I added to the video, then you're wrong. That was an actual sound heard within the game, and it creeps me out every time. Now, as you can see, I'm heading back through the elevator because there are some more eggs over in that crystal room. Now, that might seem a little inefficient, and I should have just shown those eggs first. But it turns out that the rhyme gas egg we just saw is a prerequisite for one of the eggs in the crystal room. So now that we've been gassed, we're gonna head back over to the crystal room and put in some crystal combinations for some other images. Don't worry, they're safe for work. And Spider came up with some really weird clues for this one. I mean, a couple clues involve the intersections of interstate highways or something really obscure, but once you get it, it's easy to remember. I just clicked the first crystal once, the second crystal twice, and the third crystal three times. And you're also supposed to set them all to the color red. Uh, this one needs to be twice. And this one once. One, two, three, two, one. Real easy. Oh. There it is. Set them all to red and... There it is. The Rhyme Face Egg. There are actually a whole bunch of these faces if you cycle through the colors in order. So, uh, there's about 30 of them, but since it's real easy to cycle through, I might as well just show them all.
And that is not all of them. There's a few more if you go back to the start. And I believe that's the last one. Yes. Okay, so we successfully saw the faces. Uh, but there's another egg here, too. Uh, let's see. This one does not require you to be gassed in order to see it. Now, those first four crystals are the same ones shown in the journal upstairs, but the fifth one matters too, so I don't know whether this actually counts as an easter egg or not. And we get a flyby of the Baked Potato Age! with sour cream and chives on top. Yum. Well, okay, all jokes aside, this is the age that Atris talked about in that journal upstairs, and he was talking about how changing the crystals appear to change the age. Um, for example, this left one, actually this left one doesn't change the age, this one just changes the view. See, now we have a uh, still shot instead of a flyby. And this one gives another still shot. And another flyby. Another still shot. And another flyby. Uh, let's get it back to a still shot here so that we can observe the others uh, more clearly. Uh, this one changes the water level, I think. Yeah, see? All of a sudden, we got really deep water. And that one takes it all away. In fact, we can't even see it at all. Um, let's get it back to where we can at least see the water. Where is it? There it is. Uh, this one's really subtle. It changes the terrain not covered by the snow. Just barely. It's It's... Just different shades of brown. Nothing really special. That one's a little whiter, I guess. Okay, I guess I can see that. I don't even remember where I started this one. Have I looped through these? I don't even know. Whatever. Uh, this one changes the amount of snow on the top. See, it just got less snow. In fact, I think one of these colors gets rid of the snow entirely. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's put the snow back. And this one changes the color of the trees. Uh, sort of darker green, I think. And now they're sort of brown. And now they're sort of reddish. And they're blue now? Uh, now they're back to some kind of red. Okay, now they're green again. Um, so that's it. Um, if you look, if you back away, you can actually get a 3D view of this thing. So that's all I got for the crystal viewer. Now, if you read Atris's journal, he doesn't believe that changing the crystals actually changes the age. Rather, the crystals provide views into different yet similar ages. So that's all the eggs on the Rhyme Age, but um, our egg hunt is not complete. We still need to take one final trek back over to Mist Island.